All right, guys. So I just finished eating lunch. I woke up at nine o'clock today. I had breakfast. Breakfast had four eggs, avocado, and I think it has some chocolate milk. So that was a pretty hefty breakfast for me. But that's normally what I have for breakfast now. Is normally four eggs, avocado, and uh, chocolate milk, like a uh, one cup of chocolate milk on the side. And then for lunch, I just had a pork chop, some rice, and uh, like five or seven. It's just a handful of cherry tomatoes. And then, of course, I had my 500 milliliters of water because I'm trying to get my two to three liters of water in every single day, especially because I'm taking creatine. But today's lift, today I'll show up, maybe I'll, actually, yeah, I should probably show, show up my um, my workout plan that I've just made uh, for today and probably for the rest of the week and, and the rest of the month, depending on how well it works. But today we have deadlifts. Only have not that many though, obviously, because I only have two sets of deadlift today. Because I'm not gonna do more than two sets, because that's crazy. Only got two sets of deadlift for 105. And then I reduced my um, my lap no, no not lap not lap pull downs. I reduced my pull ups. The reason why I reduced my pull ups is because 100 pull ups is ridiculous. Even though it's pretty easy though, 100 pull ups for me at least is pretty easy because I'm still somewhat like lightweight. I'm only 175.4 right now. I woke up this morning. I'm at 175. So I'm still pretty lightweight, so that's probably the only reason why I can find pull-ups and stuff easy. But I was like, nah, I don't really need to. Because I'm doing lap pull-downs now, I don't really need to do 100 pull-ups anymore. So I just reduced that in half. So I'll do 50 pull-ups now instead. So what I'm substituting for that is I'll do 50 pull-ups and then three to four sets of lap pull-downs. But then I'll do some rolling machine, I think. I'll either do the rolling machine or I'll do pictorial flies. Well, maybe I'll do pictorial flies because I don't have any other movement that's like that. But I also don't have any other movement like the rowing machine either. So I'm not entirely sure what I might do. That looks... I'm going to put too much. It's fine. I don't need that much pre-workout anyway. I don't, I don't get much off of caffeine. But I do it because of the pump, of course. But yeah, so I'll, I'll get rid of... I, I decided to get rid of some of the pull-ups. Cut that in half. And... Uh, I'll either do pictorial flies now as a replacement afterwards, or I'll do rowing machine. I'm not sure which one I'll pick. I might do rowing. Actually, no, I don't know if I want to do rowing machine. Because rowing machine, though, I think when I searched up like what 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 uh, what parts it's good for, it said it's good for general strength. So that means like it uses your full body, which is great, you know. But my deadlift uses my full body kind of. So I'm like, I don't know if I really want to do that. So I think, actually, you know what I might end up doing? I might not do the rowing machine instead. I might just end up doing the um, the pictorial flies, the reverse pictorial flies. So I might end up doing that instead, because it's like I already have deadlifts, man. The deadlifts are heavy as shit, so I don't need to do another um, movement, in my opinion, that that does or at least increases my whole entire body strength when I already have deadlifts for that. So that's what we'll end up doing, I think. We'll do the deadlifts. We'll do 50 pull-ups, and then I have my lap pull downs. And then afterwards, we'll do the pictorial flies, and then I have the curls at the end because the curls are reduced down a lot. Because I don't need to go more than 35 or 30 pounds on the curls anymore. Except for maybe hammer curls, depending on how I feel. If I feel like I have too much energy left still, then maybe I'll do 30 pound hammer curls. But other other than that, the bicep curl is going to be 25 pounds. The assisted easy bar curl is going to be 40 to 50 pounds because um, I'm using both of my arms, so... I can obviously lift a lot more weight because I'm using both of my arms. So 40 to 50 uh, pound assisted easy bar curls. And then probably 25 pound bicep curl. 25, 25 to 30 pound hammer curls depending on how that goes. So I think that's pretty much it guys. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. And we'll get the pull day started. Hopefully this pull day is a lot more better than yesterday. Not to say that yesterday was a bad day for me. Because I still ended up going to the gym. Um, but obviously when I got into the gym, like I told you guys, the moment that I lifted up the, the bench or the bar for the bench, I felt super weak and I was like, damn, I'm feeling a little more more weak than usual. That's a little bit uh, odd, especially on a Monday when I'm fully recovered. That's all right. Um, but anyways, I'm going to get back or not get back. I'm going to head to the gym now. Hopefully today will be a better day, better lift. And uh, let's see what we got cooking up. All right, guys, so I'm just going to make this real quick. Or I'm just gonna say this real quick, but um, near the end of near the end of my workout session, so after I do finish all my pose down stuff, I am gonna do like a little rant. So um, 
if you guys want, you can just um, once you once you watch this video and you get up to the pose down and once the pose down is finished, you can either you don't have to watch the rant. You can probably just skip it if you want to. But I'm basically just going to talk about um, the current state of the economy in Canada, and I'll basically in that rant I'm just going to talk about um, something that I've noticed. I just I just talk about some some stuff about the cost of living and why uh, there's t there's some problems with with today's uh, or at least some social economical problems that I see at least today. So I definitely don't recommend you guys watch the rant unless you really want to, unless you do find that stuff interesting. But um, yeah, it's gonna, that's going to be after the pose down. I'm just going to talk about some of that stuff because. Cost of living in Canada is ridiculous. At least in my opinion, it's just for stuff like groceries and housing and whatever. All those things are are slowly becoming more expensive. So, but anyways, let's not uh, talk about real life stuff like that because honestly, <laughs> it's it's kind of depressing. So let's just focus on today's lift. But today was super. As long as it was a pretty good lift, I did. I started off my deadlifts and then afterwards, what did I do? Afterwards, I moved to my pull-ups, like I already said to you guys. I decreased my pull-ups from 100 to 50. And after I finished my pull-ups, what did I do after my pull-ups? I think I did um, lap pull-down, I believe, yep. Or was it lap pull-down or was it patrol flies? I think it was lap pull-down afterwards, and then I did patrol flies after. And then after that, I finished off with um, with all the all the curls. The bicep curls, easy bar curls, hammer curls. But I didn't record the first set of my deadlifts. As you guys can tell, I've only recorded um, the second. This is my second set of deadlifts. I did a set before this, but uh, I didn't. I didn't want. I didn't feel, like you guys already know how I how I like to operate things, man. I only like to record every single every single uh, set I do because it's gonna get repetitive. Plus, I hate having to pull on my camera every single time because. I just I don't feel the need to do that. So, but yeah, I'll do two sets of deadlifts here, and then I'll do fifty pull-ups. We already mentioned that before. But uh, yeah, deadlifts are not um, they're not difficult, guys. Like I always I always say this. Sorry, I repeat myself a lot of these videos, but literally, you just as long as you get your form down, you then you should have no back pain. So I mean. Unless you're really just messing up your form really that badly, then obviously you're, obviously you're gonna get back pain. But as long as you do it correctly, then you should be fine. So, even though many people say, you know, even though yes, I agree, squat and deadlifts can be um, dangerous <laughs> if your if your form is completely trash or whatever. Then yes, of course, it's gonna be dangerous. But if you're doing it properly, if you're doing it with proper weights, you're not ego lifting or whatever, then you're, then you should be fine. Um, funny enough, I don't know if I said this before, but uh, pull-ups actually used to be one of my least favorite things, believe it or not. I always just hated doing pull-ups, man. I always found it to be like a pain in the ass. But a lot of the things that you might do in the gym, you might find it at first a pain in the ass. Because they're difficult or you just can't get used to it. But as long as you keep practicing, man, I'm telling you right now, you'll realize that some of the things that you hate doing... Will actually become may, may possibly become things that you actually enjoy doing, and they might become your best or your favorite exercise or whatever you're doing. Sorry about this angle, by the way. This angle is freaking horrendous. I did not. I just set my camera down and was like, and it looked when I set this when I set my tripod down. I set this up. I was like, okay, this looks good enough, but no, nope. But obviously, I fixed it down somewhere better. But yeah, it's super solid. Nothing like crazy, but the lap pull downs. Um. You guys can see I do both variants. I do one like this, or at least, uh, shit, I don't know, how, I don't know what the specific one's called, but it's kind of like, there's one underhand and one overhand. I'm just going to call it that. I'm sorry, guys. Someone in the comments, if you're watching this, correct me on what, on what forms I just did. The first one, the second, the first set of Latin, the second set of Latin did. Comment down below what's this called, the, uh, the way that I'm holding it, the first one, the way I'm holding it, the second one. But for now, just, yeah, I did uh, just call that what it is, or what I think that is. It's just the overhand placement and the underhand placement. Obviously, you guys can tell now on the pectoral flies 
the weight is lessened by a lot, guys. And that is lessened by a lot. Because I used to do 130, and then now I decrease it down to 55. So, I also did that because my arms were freaking destroyed from deadlift. So I ended up decreasing that down to 55. So that's pretty good. The great thing, of course, is I get full range of motion from doing that correctly. So... Afterwards, I do my, you guys can see, I do my dumbbell curls on the bench for support instead of standing up like I did before. Right now, I'm curling 30s. I was supposed to do 25s, but there were like these two guys. And I think for some reason, there, I only saw like two guys over there that had the 25 pound dumbbells. But then when I went over to the freaking dumbbell racks, there were no 25s there. So I was like, well, this is unfortunate. I can neither. Uh, do I want to wait? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to wait, man. So, And plus, I was like, you know what? I have the bench with me. I can definitely easily curl these 30s with no problem because I have the bench with me. So I was like, yeah, I can do that. No problem. But yeah, I don't want to. That is something that I'm trying to avoid now is waiting for stuff, man. Because I don't want to lose my pump. And I also don't want to waste time by doing that either. So and if, yeah, you guys saw I did the hammer curls there too with the bench. Then I moved over to the assisted easy bar curls. And uh, this time I decided to use close grip. Because I see I've been... You guys already know I watch a ton of fitness videos in my spare time if I'm not doing anything. And a lot of videos that I see where people doing easy bar, they, all, like, they like to use close grip. So I was like... I never... The reason why I always liked using wide grip was because I found close grip uncomfortable. That was because I was just holding it incorrectly. But um, <laughs> I was just basically just terrible, not terrible, I guess, form, but terrible grip, basically. I just did not grip it correctly. So, but then after I figured it out, I was like, okay, this is actually way better than doing a wide grip. So, I ended up just doing close grip instead. But today's workout was pretty solid as usual. Nothing, uh, nothing that crazy. I am trying to, don't worry guys, I am so bulky. My 175. I did the morning weight at 175.4. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to put on more weight, guys, because my body is still adjusting, I think. Because I already told you guys, I did a bulk, but then I got sick. And when I got sick, I lost a shit ton of weight. So I don't know if my metabolism is completely out of sync, but I think I'll get back there eventually. All right, YouTube, I'm just going to... So you guys don't know if I said earlier, um, I give you guys the option if you want to listen to what I'm about to say. Or not, you just skip this whole entire part if you want to. But but I am going to go on a little bit of a rant. Because I think I have something very interesting to say. Now, I don't know if this is going to get political or not. Um, maybe it might get political. Maybe I might get, might get in trouble from what I'm about to say. But honestly, I don't really care because it's my platform. And um, if I get in trouble for saying what I want to say, then that's totally okay. I don't really care. But, um... When I was going to a grocery store, I think maybe on the, uh, maybe on the weekend, I think it was when I went to the grocery store on the weekend. I go over to the meat section, or the, the red meat section. You know what I mean, where all the meats are and stuff: chicken, ground beef, pork, whatever. In the ground beef section, it's just whole. It's just full. It's just completely stacked. There's still a shit ton of food that's laying in that section. It's probably been sitting there for a couple of days now, but. Um, Maybe not a couple of days, maybe just two or two or three days. But even then, that's still crazy, right? The, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because the cost of food, or at least for, for the food that I was going to, the ground beef and stuff, it's expensive as shit. And that kind of made me realize that um, there's so many things nowadays that are expensive for no reason. And it just doesn't make any sense. So, I'm I'm from Canada, right? It's a big country. You got many territories, many provinces. You got it's a huge, massive land, tons of acre, tons and tons of acres of land, and the population is a. Uh, I read this from somewhere. I don't remember. It was a while ago. I have kind of always known this fact. But there's like a state in in the USA that that, that that's apparently I don't remember if it's the equivalent or if it's more. But it has like a similar, it has almost the same population as Canada. So one state in the U.S. has almost, if not more, population than Canada, which is insane, right? 
but the cost of living here um, just makes no no sense at all. Everything is really expensive for no reason. Obviously, with housing prices and everything, everything is obviously really expensive. Groceries are really expensive. You guys already know how much money I pay for groceries and shit. That's the reason why normally I normally just buy. Um, what I used to do a while ago when I was bulking was I'd buy salmon, chicken, and ground beef, and I'd buy a ton of that stuff. But then I cut down it's just pork. I cut down it's just pork chops because pork chops are cheaper. So I only I mainly just only eat that now, and I stopped eating um, chicken breast and other stuff as well because it's just way too expensive for me, man. And it's just kind of kind of sad to see that um, even just something as simple as like food is becoming something that people have to question because they might just go up and be like might just pick up the ground beef whatever pack and be like damn eight dollars for this small pack of ground beef no I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna bother so they might not even eat, eat that food because it's too expensive there's just so many um, things that just are kind of sad to see nowadays to be honest I'll give you another example not related to um food or anything <clears throat> a couple of my um, videos ago, so long time ago, I talked about uh, I talked about one of my experiences I had when I was working at a at a school as an educational assistant. So I was helping teaching children in a classroom with um, with disabilities, learning intellectual and developmental disabilities. So some of the children had autism and ADHD, right? So. A teacher and an educational assistant are completely different, and a teacher assistant is also completely different. But I was working as an EA, educational educational assistant, and there were like two or three other EAs. But one of the EAs that I was talking to, a really nice guy, um, I was ask, ask I was asking him stuff about um, how he balances work and university, because he said that he wanted to go back to university to become a teacher. I was like, oh, I asked him like, how um, do you manage to balance balance your work and life? Um, if you're gonna go to university and study to become a teacher and you also work as well And then he ended up telling me that he works two jobs I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy So I don't know whether or not um, He works two jobs Because that's what he needs to meet his financial needs Or if that's just what he wants to do But regardless, I think it's kind of ridiculous That he has to work two jobs Just to meet his financial needs if that is the case Which... To me, I think it's completely bullshit, but that's just my opinion. Um, another thing, too, was I found out, or at least the, te the teacher told me, I, I don't remember how exactly we got this conversation, but the teacher that I was working with, she ended up telling me that um, there's times where she has to buy her own supplies for the students, and she even goes as far as, as to tell me that even the pr principal sometimes has to pay for some of the supplies for some of the students in that classroom. Now, I don't know if, if the principal does that out of kindness. That could all just, just be a simple act of kindness. Or it could be because of the fact that she actually has to like pay um, the own supplies for, th for the students. But regardless of whether or not um, whether or not it's an act of kindness, they should not be... They don't really care if it's the teacher or the principal that's paying the supplies. In general, they should not be paying supplies for students because this is a... Was well, a multi-million, billion-dollar industry education. They have tons of money, but for some reason, the teachers and principals paying money for supplies. So I don't know what's going on there. Same thing with I don't know what's going on with the cost of living as well. So it's just a shit ton of things nowadays that just don't add up, unfortunately. Um, I will touch a little bit. Maybe you guys can give me a little bit of your opinion on if you are from the United States. Maybe you guys can give me a little bit of info on how living is there, what the cost of living is. But um, let's just bring up like, always a good example, right? A common theme that always people bring up with the U.S. is obesity rates and stuff like um, consuming fast food and all that stuff, right? Um, you know, if you made healthier foods cheaper, then I don't think that would be as, as much as a problem. And I know that sounds generic as shit because that's probably what a lot of people say. But I don't know how much... I don't know if that's changed at all. I don't know if they've changed the prices in the States in terms of fresh goods like fruits and vegetables. I don't know if it's still 
as expensive because I know in Canada for me at least all that stuff is still expensive but it's like what do you expect like it's kind of like somebody that has low low income family or whatever or somebody that's that just does not have the money to afford fresh foods and healthy foods or whatever and and unfortunately even that even then apparently I think I think fast food in America is a lot cheaper at least from what I from what I've heard at least or what I know of so it's like put two to two and get put two to two together right Health, healthy foods are more expensive fast food cheaper so what's gonna happen right they're gonna obviously pay for the fast food instead so you gotta it's not even like um you can't just blame some of these things um because is that you can't even blame some of the things because it's just their fault there's obviously levels to this man like it's pretty clear that the system is messed up some way i don't know how the system is messed up but somewhere along the line, the system is completely out of whack. Just many things that don't make sense. The same thing how, um, I find this interesting how people talk about how, um, cause you see a common issue nowadays, at least even my professor in my college, when we were, uh, he, he brought the question or he brought the uh, topic like, we were talking about, cause in my college reading and writing classes, we're doing article on soft skills for employment. But we got into this topic how um, the cost of living and everything's getting more expensive. But the wages are still the same. So people are getting paid the same same rates, whatever that may be, per hour, per month, per t every two weeks, whatever that may be. But they're basically just same salary, same pay, whatever. But the cost of living and everything is increasing. So obviously, once again, another thing that does not add up, unfortunately. And I think all, things are only going to get worse, unfortunately, because um, it just seems to be the way that things are right now. I don't know why, man. It always just mind boggles me how um, Canada, um, like once going back to my old point that I said originally, is you got this massive, you got multiple provinces, territories, it's huge, but it's the same population as one state in the U.S. And for some reason, the cost of living and stuff is still really expensive as shit. So it's like you have so many resources and, and everything, but you still make everything expensive for no reason. It's like, it's like well, why, man? It's the same thing with the. Um, the U.S. in terms of people, I don't know if obesity is a problem in the U.S., but same thing applies there. It's like you can keep on um, like the topics always need be brought up, but you know what? Like, I don't want to say it's that simple, but like, it's just you would be surprised by just reducing the prices of something in the in the store. Like that actually makes a difference. It might not be a major major difference. If you increase the price of potatoes in a grocery store, I can guarantee you right now, depending on how much that is, fewer people may buy that. But the same way it works is if you decrease the price of something like potatoes, then there's a good chance that more people will buy it. So I mean, but obviously the system these things might not even change, which is um, very unfortunate that these systems are just in place, but they're never going to change. Uh, that may just be the way that things are, unfortunately, but that's kind of the reason why I'm talking about this, man, because it's kind of sad to see that. Because um, I've always said, or not necessarily that I've always said, but um, stuff like food is not something... Here's... I would, here's this sounds insane. Maybe it doesn't sound insane for you guys, but I've always said that I want to have enough money in my life, or when, if I I want to be like if you told me like what's successful to you financially, financial success to me is like paying for something like food and not having to worry about the price of food because it's freaking food, man. And about like and it's, it's such a some of these you know obviously poverty is another big issue but obviously that's a huge other topic that's also uh, I'm not gonna go into that guys but um, it's kind of sad because um, food obviously some of these things are just stuff that we not just need obviously not just stuff that we need because it's essential but also because these are things that we enjoy and the fact that um, people are not uh, or at least for me when I go into a grocery store and I notice that that there's just so much meat and, and shit that's still stocked up and people are not buying it because it's so expensive. It's just kind of, it's just kind of sad, man. 
So, but you know, I might get in trouble for what I mentioned about the about the school stuff that I talked about, about teachers having to buy supplies and the principal getting involved with buying supplies. I might get, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I might not, be, might not even get in trouble for saying what I say, but I don't care, man, because because I, I I see stuff that's wrong and I'm like I can I have the choice to point it out so I was like ah I'll just point it out because it's like that shit always bothered me bothers me I might as well just get that out there again but you know and obviously it gets, it's get, it gets a lot more worse of course because you can even look at it, at this perspective right you have an amazing teacher or amazing staff. They're working at school. They're helping children with disabilities, learning, um, intellectual and developmental disabilities. Like I said before, autism, ADHD, and maybe other potential disorders or disabilities, right? So obviously, there are already amazing people for doing that. But then, of course, they get treated like shit. They get treated like shit, and that's unfortunate. That's that is. It's just. Mind, bog mind boggling to me, man. That th that's the way that things are nowadays. So, I mean, it's kind of just sad. But, anyways, guys, I don't want to end it off now at a very negative note because it's just ended off at a very negative note. But, um, hope that some of you guys are uh, pushing forward, man. Because honestly, some of this stuff might not even be changeable. But, as I guess, as the only thing I can really say is as long as you keep moving and progressing then I think you'll be okay but uh, some of these things unfortunately I, don't, I think it's just out of love our lives out of our control not much we can do about that other than to keep pushing forward but anyway guys I think tomorrow I have leg day I don't think I'm gonna go actually yeah I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow for leg day because the gym that I go to that's not on the campus does not have leg press machine but the one that I do go to the, at the campus has a leg machine or leg press machine. So probably just go there instead. Obviously, you guys know I don't record it. I don't record in the campus gyms. So, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Thursday then for push day. So catch you guys later.